Hey guys, today I'm doing another video in my video series of the best Android Wear apps, and today we're reviewing Wear VideoTube. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm going to make some assumptions about you. Number one, you like Android Wear. Number two, you like YouTube. If that's both true, then you're going to love this app, because now you can watch YouTube videos directly from your Android Wear smartwatch. So when you launch up the app, you can see the most popular YouTube videos, or you can go ahead and search for a specific YouTube video, and there's a little keyboard here that you can type out the name of the video that you're looking for. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the voice dictation, so I'll click on the red G. Oops, let me try that again. Conrad Sykes. And now it's going to do a search for videos by Conrad Sykes. And we'll see the results we get. And now we see a full list of all of the videos that I've done. And let's find one to watch. Um, this Chromecast one looks good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and launch this up. And I do need to warn you that this is where the app falls a little bit short. It does take a painfully long time to actually load a video. Um, now, I know anything, transferring any large files over Bluetooth can be painfully slow, so I can't really blame the app for this. I think it's just the technology behind it. But loading up a YouTube video does take quite a while, so be forewarned. But if we give this just a minute, the video should start playing, and yes, here we go. We can now see that the video is playing on here, and it's playing very smoothly. Now, obviously, there's no sound right now, but if we did have Bluetooth headphones connected, then we could listen to the audio of the video. And I think in the future, once Android Wear watches get speakers in them, this app's going to become a lot more popular when you don't need to have headphones connected to be able to listen to a video. But in the meantime, it's still a very cool app. So we can tap on the screen to pause the video. We can also raise and lower the volume, again, if we had headphones connected. And we can also skip forward, advance forward into the video as well. And then if you swipe over one more time, you're going to see the title and description of the video. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll have a more videos option if you want to check out other YouTube videos as well. And I just would like to quickly note that I'm using the free version of the app. There's also a $2.99 version, which gives you even more features than I'm demoing here. But uh, you'll have to check that out later. Uh, there's also this cast option, and I use this a lot. So I can tell my watch what video I want to watch, and then I can hit the cast option, and I can send that video directly to my Chromecast. So I'll select my Chromecast, and then I'll hit cast one more time, and now the video that we were just watching is being streamed to my Google Chromecast in my living room, and I think that's just amazingly cool. Well, to wrap things up, I just have to say that this is an amazingly original app. I love the way that this has been executed. It's actually pretty useful, and I just can't wait until Android Wear smartwatches get speakers, and this can be used even more. I think once Android Wear watches get speakers, this app is just going to become phenomenally popular. But until then, it's still a great app, definitely worth downloading, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're interested in learning more about any of the apps you saw in this video, you can find their Google Play download links in the description below. I always love hearing your feedback, so leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. And finally, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to stay up to date with the latest apps and Android Wear developments, click the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.